In today's video, I'm talking all about automatic testing with the ReefBot Lab. I'm gonna show you how the ReefBot Lab works and then I'm gonna share my thoughts about the ReefBot Lab after using it for a little over four months. Now, the ReefBot Lab is created by Reef Kinetics and it's a way to automatically test your reef aquarium and you can test for a lot of different things. Now, I've been using a ReefBot to automatically test my reef aquariums for over four years. It started with the original ReefBot and now I have the ReefBot Lab, which I've been using for a little over four months and it's really easy to use. Now this is the ReefBot Lab and what I really like about the ReefBot Lab is that you're able to use the test kits that you're already familiar with. Now I really believe that the ReefBot Lab is ahead of the game when it comes to testing because I've been able to test for calcium, alkalinity, magnesium, phosphates, nitrates, pH, nitrite, ammonia, all with one device for a while now. And it seems like a lot of the other testing devices on the market are just now getting into nitrate and phosphate. Whereas the ReefBot Lab has already been able to do that. And we're gonna go through just how easy it is to set up a test, run a test, and then get the results. Okay, so we're gonna set up the Salifert Magnesium Test Kit into these two slots right here. This is gonna be slots five and six, and it's really easy to do that. First, all we have to do is go into the Reef Kinetics app right here. Maybe I put this right. Uh, so once you go into your Reef Bot, you can see, you can see what tubes are full of reagents and what's not. So we're gonna utilize five and six for this so all you gotta do is touch that it will load and then once it loads you're gonna say i want magnesium okay so we want magnesium and then we're gonna tell it which magnesium test kit we are using and we are going to use the salifert magnesium right here and once we have that set we're gonna go all the way down uh, and we got magnesium one and two right here, so we're gonna just tell it, oops, wrong one, we're gonna go here and we're gonna tell it tube five. This one is gonna be tube number six and you just hit okay. So now we have salifert magnesium one and magnesium two. So now all you have to do from there is take your magnesium test kit and put it in the vials and then put it in these slots right there. Now, if you look at the magnesium reagents that you get, magnesium one right here only has 10 milliliters inside. So you just have to remember that you may need to use a little bit more reagents, whereas uh, MG2, go figure the magnesium test kit that I have has a misprint on it. Look at that, it says five mLs. There's no way this is five milliliters this is 50 milliliters if i remember correctly so there's plenty of magnesium two solution to go into the vials however this smaller one same thing with the alkalinity there's only 10 milliliters in this small one so you may have to get two test kits to run this test just so you can fill up that 20 milliliter vial that's provided by ReefBot. Okay, so I'm gonna actually combine the vials. I'm gonna use the 20 milliliter for the magnesium one, and I'm gonna use the 60 milliliter here for MG2. Crack that open. I'm gonna pour that in there. We have our reagent in there. I spilled a little bit, so that, we're gonna close that. Mag number one, going in five, that, and mag number two, and go right there in number six. Make sure that's straight in there, and you kinda turn it the way it fits. There you go. And in the app under maintenance, you can see where all of your parameters are located or where all of your tests are located and what levels they are. So mag um, two, we're gonna change that 
to the large one and we're gonna reset that to, uh, we're gonna put that to 50 because that's how many we poured in. So we got 50 in there and then we're gonna change the 20 milliliters as well. And you can just change it to the amount that you poured in there and then you hit the check mark, then you come down here and you save. So if you, if you go back into the list that shows you what's in each of your vials, you can see here that we have magnesium is sitting at 50% on five and then tube six. So it shows you how much it uses and if you need to refill it. Same thing with my calcium down here, my alkalinity pH, um, and my phosphates. So um, as well as my nitrates, which are up here. Okay, so when you go in here and you wanna add a new test for the first time, you can see my pH, my nitrates, my phosphates, my calcium down here at the bottom, there's a plus. Go ahead and click on that plus, and then we are going to select uh, the parameter we want, and we want magnesium. And it shows salifert, because that's the only magnesium kit that we have in there, and we click perform test. It will think about it. It will give you the test submitted green and then the light will turn green and it's going to go ahead and do run your test. When you receive your ReefBot Lab from Reef Kinetics, it already comes to you calibrated so there's no need to run any calibrations on your device. All you need to do is set up the reagents for the machine. And that's simply just filling the vials and putting them into the numbered slots. Once you fill up the reagents into the different vials, you just tell it in the device what number it is and how much you have in that vial. Because the Refot Lab has the 20 milliliter vials as well as the 60 milliliter vials. So let's go over what I'm testing for in the Refot Lab. I'm testing my nitrates, my phosphates, my calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, and my pH as well. So six different things right now in the ReefBot lab and I still have room to spare if I want to test another parameter. Now there's a variety of test kits that you can use with the ReefBot lab. You can use API, you can use Salifert, you can use Red Sea, Elos, Geisman, Tropic Marin, Fauna Marin, and Colombo test kits. So there's plenty of test kits that you can choose from. So when the ReefBot lab is finished with the test, you're gonna see the results right here in the app. So you can see the result is 1370. Now, if you click into there, this is where you see the graph. You can see the colors that it's looking for and the result of the test right there. And if you're concerned about accuracy, you can always test the ReefBot Lab against a manual test kit. So the pH value here was 8.2. And I checked this against my pH probe with the Apex. And sure enough, it came back at 8.23. So it's pretty accurate. And then I've also tested for nitrates and phosphates. For example, my phosphates and nitrates I've noticed have been a little out of whack in the tank. So I've corrected for my phosphates. If you click on that, you can see the phosphates right here. You can see that is like the safe range where we wanna to get to. And you can see the fluctuations that I've been going through to get that under control. So the ReefBot plots that out for you in the graph which is really nice so how often do you need to change out the syringe whenever you are testing well the app tells you all of that so it makes it extremely easy to know when to change things now you'll only have to refill the vials as needed and change out the syringe at 60 tests so whenever you do that it's as easy as popping the old syringe out and putting the new one back in now you don't really have to worry about calibrating as much because they have the other 10 milliliter syringe that handles the water samples and it's responsible for collecting an accurate sample volume and the motors and everything that operate the actuator and move those syringes up and down are really high quality and they're going to last you a really long time. So what do I think about the ReefBot Lab? Is this something that I would recommend? Is this a device that I will keep using? Now I've been using this for four months and absolutely I would recommend this device all day because one it's very easy to use and the way that it's designed is well thought out I mean all of your reagents are contained within the device itself you don't have a whole lot of 
um, tubes or hoses or cables going everywhere. The only thing that you really have to worry about is running your RODI line and your waste line. So that's really the only two hoses, well, outside of the salt water. Let me clarify real quick. You have a water line going to an RODI container, a water line going to a waste container, and then a water line going to your aquarium. So outside of those three lines, there's nothing to see but the device itself. So everything is well put together, well thought out. And if you do need to access anything like change out um, one of the stepper pumps or something along the way, this top right here is easily removable and easy to access the dosing heads in the top. So it's real easy to get to, real easy to work on. And like I said throughout the video, there's not a lot of calibrating that you need to do because when you get it, it's already calibrated. All you need to do is fill the reagent or fill the vials with the reagent that you plan on using and the refot can test for quite a bit. So pretty much anything that you would need to test for, you have that with the ReefBot lab. So it's a great investment for you. So I'd probably recommend this if you have like a larger mid-sized tank to a large aquarium, uh, you would need something like this if you'd like, or if you're very busy, or you just hate testing your tanks all together, um, you can get a ReefBot lab and have it automatically test that for you. So if you found this video helpful and you want to check out the ReefBot lab for yourself, head on over to reefkinetics.com. Check out all the detailed information at reefkinetics.com. And if you do decide to get one, you can use the code thecoralreeftalk at checkout and that's going to save you some money on your ReefBot lab as well. So go ahead and do that. And if you have any questions, reach out to me in the comment section below and I will be sure to answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for watching, clicking subscribe, and if you like this video, I know you're gonna like this video right over here, so go ahead, watch that one, and I'll see you in the next video.